hello welcome back um been absolutely ages since the last video uh, as you can see i ordered the a500 mini it was delivered literally about 10 or 15 minutes ago so i'm just going to have a look at it and um set it up and have a quick play etc etc now initially i wasn't going to get one but i saw some of the videos um other people put up and thought oh actually this looks really quite good so I might. Now I'm just going to expand the, the screen out. No, oh, that's the wrong way. Out a bit. That little desk is all I've got to put my systems on. I don't have a man cave. I've just got a tiny little corner of the front room, as can be seen. Um, and some of the computers that I have, in fact, a lot of them are quite um, beastly in proportions. As you can see, I've got my A500 there. I also have an Archimedes A3010 um bbc micro being the big three beast computers that i've got and you know i have to store them in drawers um on top of uh, shelves and stuff like that really sort of out of the way so these miniature um console stroke computer things that have become uh quite common over the last few years have been really quite a godsend in in the way of um, space saving. I've got somewhere <clears throat> in a drawer as well, the Mega Drive uh, Mini and the SNES Mini. I don't have the NES or the PC Engine one or the PlayStation Classic. Um, but yeah, um, it, this is the A500 Mini is from um, Retro Games who brought us a couple of years ago, the C64 Mini and full size version, as well as um, the Vic 20 Mini and uh, full size version. Or was it a full, just a full size version of Vic 20? I'm not sure. I have the full size, see the C64. I don't have the Vic 20. I, I didn't see that there was much point um, going for one. But why did I um, go for this? Well, I've said before that the Amiga was something that passed me by um, back in the day. I went from Spectrum straight to the Master System, so the um, Amiga ST um, completely passed me by. I didn't even play an Amiga game until a few years ago um, uh, through emulation. It was something I always wanted to try, but um, I found the Amiga set up quite intimidating. Um, I had WinUAE on a laptop, and to configure it correctly, I had my uh, good friend Zeb on the phone to me for about well, well over an hour um teaching me to get the best uh, show me how to um configure the the very best um or optimum settings to get that emulator working correctly once it was working correctly it was fine didn't have any problems but there was no way i'd have been able to do it um myself and i bought this amiga here a couple of years ago it's finished it's featured in a couple of videos it's got a uh, one meg expanded memory and an inbuilt gotek drive with uh, within where the, the floppy disk doodah thingamy jig should sit and really really enjoyed it um struggled getting to grips with the whole disk swapping thing but i eventually figured it out and had some really good fun with games like cannon fodder um on it and when my sort of like mojo for making videos sort of like disappeared i hadn't really delved that much into um the amiga and it's something Another reason I bought the 500 is to kind of re-energise myself to get back into sort of doing things because I do want to because people do keep sort of like asking on Facebook, Twitter and um, Discord um, and sometimes in the comments when I very rarely check into them now, um, you know, when are you going to get back to it? And it's something I should have explained before the reasons why, um, so I'm not going to go over um, but so let's just have a look what we've got here. So you can see we have a uh, very nice um, glossy sort of um, packaging. The A500 Mini from Retro Games uh, with 25 inbuilt games that you can add your own ones to uh, via USB stick, which I'm not going to do today, but I will do um, later. So AC adapter is not included. Um, I believe it's a USB-C adapter, of which I've got loads of them lying about. Um, so those are the games we have in the back. Another World, Zool, Worms, Pinball Dreams, Simon the Sorcerer, Sentinel, Alien Breed, F-16 Combat Pilot, 
battle chest stunt car racer. You have to be careful when you're saying that when you're drunk. Alien Breed, Dragon Breath Speedball 2, Cadaver, Kickoff 2, Paradroid, ATR, Quack, California Games, The Chaos Engine, Titus, The Lost Patrol, Arcade Pool, Project X and Supercars 2. Now, a few of those games I'm sort of familiar with. Um, the Sentinel, I've done multi-version comparisons on those and now obviously I've got access to the Amiga version, didn't actually know there was one, but others are new to me, Pinball Dreams, Zool, I, th I don't think Zool is actually, I think I might have had that on the Jaguar, Paradroid 90, um, Arcade Pool, California games I know from um, the Spectrum, um, which I bought on the, the basis of that Spectrum version of Winter Games was really good, I went and bought California games and thought it was utterly abysmal. Um, the Chaos Engine, I really enjoyed that game when I had a quick play with it last year. Here's what we get. We get the uh, A500 Mini, the mouse, a joypad, and some cords. And not much on the top thing there. Or on the bottom side, just some sort of gump there. Which probably means don't stick the plastic bag over your head and stuff like that. And um, from Cloanto. Now, <clears throat> I don't... Oh, blimey. That could have gone wrong. I forgot I had a tripod there. So let's get this open. It's quite well sealed. And have a look. And those of you that have already picked one up, what have been your thoughts on it? Your um, successes and drawbacks of the, the console? Sorry, computer. And this is actually the first time I've seen one in the flesh. Like I said, I, I have watched a few videos and it is a mini and it is mini. Um, yeah. So that's the A500 mini. And as you can see in the background, it kind of replicates very well. Um, the form factor of the, the A500 you can see in the background. Obviously it hasn't got Amiga written there. Um, or the Commodore sign just there and everyone's done this in their videos so I might as well and we'll see how that compares size wise to its parent if you like um, really earning the uh, the mini moniker I think it actually looks quite nice and it's not particularly it doesn't feel particularly cheap or anything it's um, obviously the keyboard doesn't work it's just there for effect but um, yeah, nice um, sort of imagining of it. So on the side, we've got kind of a, uh, a mock disc um, tray there, disc drive slot or whatever. On the back, we have what I presume is the on-off button, uh, USB-C, uh, what's that thing called again? Uh, HDMI output and three USB slots. I believe this comes with a mouse and a joypad, so we'll just have a look. Yeah. So. That will be the HDMI lead included, which is, is good got loads of them lying about but it's always nice when you get them um, presented with the product as well and here we have the replica mouse which does resemble the original it looks uh, a bit smaller let's have a look get my a500 mouse So there we go, we have the A500 on the right and the, sorry, we have the Amiga, the, the original mouse, the proper one, on the right and on the left is the one that comes with the A500. Bit smaller, um, not massively smaller, but um, yeah, smaller in sort of like width and length. Um, but yeah, the buttons feel good. And on the back, obviously the A500 doesn't have like the, the sort of trackball 
jobby thingamy that the um, original does have. So let's just put those aside. Oh, stop falling off me. Stop it. Da, 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 da. <sighs> oh. And we've got the joypad here. So let's just undo all that. Uh, what's that then? There's another lead. Oh, so it says, it did say on the box, USB not included. But there is a USB lead, USB-C here. Um, presume they meant the full get up with a plug, but... Yeah, that's definitely included and can be plugged into the USB on my sort of plug socket. So that's a, a nice find. So let's have a look at the thingamy. So we have a um, joypad which is modelled on a CD32, I believe, controller. Now, I never played on a CD32 and I can't tell you how good or not those controllers are. I know what they look like. But I've never seen or um, held one in anger, uh, played on one. And what I will say is that the lead for the controller seems to be a little bit more robust looking than the lead for the the mouse. Um, it's not, you know, it just looks a little bit thicker um, and... Uh, yeah, more robust, I suppose. But the proof will be in the pudding, won't it? So, um, yeah, let's get it all set up and hooked up. Now, this old TV I bought from the British Heart Foundation shop a couple of years ago. Um, it only cost me about 30 quid. And it's got a couple of HDMI ports, but one of them doesn't work. And it's been so long since I've used one, I can't remember which one it is. Oh, I keep on kicking the foot of the tripod. So I do apologise for that. Right, but as I already have a charger plugged in, I will plug that in instead. And we also get a user guide, which I suppose I should read at some point, but let's just try and set it up um, first and see how it is. I know there are lots of things that you can do with this, including like I say, the addition of extra games above and beyond the 25 that were already on there. And the Amiga has such a vast library. I know some people have been looking on Facebook and Twitter, been really excited about that. I suppose for safety's sake, I should, before I plug anything, unplug everything first. So let's plug the controller in. Let's plug... The mouse in. Yeah. And we'll need to plug in the uh, doodah thingamy into the what's it? HDMI. That's what I was looking for. HDMI. HDMI, let's plug that in. Yes. Now, like I said, I can't remember which one of the HDMI ports on this telly it is that don't work. But, um, so I'm going to have to try it on one. If it don't work, then I'll try it on the other. Simple, really. So let's just lean forward. It's quite a hefty beast, this TV. So let's see if this was the one. Press. Oh, there it goes again. Move my fat feet. Oh, why didn't it come on? There we go. So let's try and see. Can't, can't even remember where the menu is. Uh, I think it's that one.
Nope, not that one. So let's just turn it off. Oh, no, there we go. We've got it working. It wasn't the right one. So, with the controller, I'm going to on English. B next. Oh, dear. Um, oh, I'll just go for the top one. So let's just put that there so that we don't get the wires police on our case. Uh, X, one television test. So it says there, you excuse the hound yapping away in the background. She's... Uh, I think I just did this, didn't I? Oh, right. Here we are, already at the um, the front screen for it. Let's just. Some quite atmospheric music there. So that wasn't too tricky to set up at all. So we have the menu. That shows us all the available games. Now a question for you, all well, those of you that are going to um, invest in this, um, obviously a lot of people are going to be adding their own games. What are the go-to ones for you that you're going to add? For me, personally, I'm going to definitely add Bubble Bobble and Cannon Fodder, but as I said before, I'm not that familiar with a load of um, Amiga stuff, so any suggestions for um, must-plays, please let me know. Now, here I believe from watching other people's uh, videos, you'll see there's a, a thing of the uh, uh, graphic of the joypad there, and the fact that it's only like one player, and um, you see Alien Breed, it changes, you can play it on two player, uh, da, da, da. and this one, Worms. I've never played Worms, so I'm not going to dive into that one. Shows you that you can um, also use the mouse as well. Supercars 2 is two players, I think. Let's start with that. Now, I'm, I don't know this game at all. Don't know when it came out, what it came out on. It's loaded really quickly. Now, I have seen on a couple of videos that there are various different settings that you can change um, to enhance compatibility and stuff. I'm not going to go on to those now because it was all sort of like double dutch to me, but I kind of understood the concept that some of the um, Amiga games demand different things from um, processors and whatnot, etc. So, uh, yeah, all right, let's just do all that. So this is just as it is out the box. So let's see how it is. Now, first impressions are really good. Uh, resem the front ends, oh, bloody hell. I didn't realize it was one of these. Uh, who am I then? Oh, I'm the red one, right, okay. Oh, right, left goes right and right goes left. Uh, whoa, perhaps this was a bad choice. I thought this would be like a sort of Chase HQ type game. <laughs> Not a kind of super sprint e like uh, micro machines head down to... Oh, hang on, you can shoot. Oh, I didn't know that. Ah, where am I going? Um, so I suppose a natural question is, did you know this game back in the day? What did you think about it? Oh, you can fire backwards as well. Oh, that's cool. I should really have read the instructions first, shouldn't I? Oh! Now, like I, I say, I kind of bought the Amiga with the A500, um, not the Mini, not this, the actual Amiga itself, with great views of really, um, or great in, intentions of, am I out of stuff? I, I think I'm out of missiles, am I? Great intentions of, like, really sort of up in 
output and everything and then I just lost all enthusiasm for it really so this hopefully because it's less faff in like swapping discs and stuff like that will help me because it's so much easier to sort of like get things going by the look of things sort of re-energize my um, enthusiasm uh, uh, how did I do there oh came fifth that ain't right Now I need to know your highway code. Going on about my highway code, and then it gives me rockets to fire at cars. Uh, oh, bloody hell, it's ages. What if you reverse another car approaches? Stop and wait for the cars. Oh. I should know that last one, really. So let's go back. Oh, right. So, ah, this is the pressing the menu button on the controller in a game brings up this keypad doodah thingy um, so let's see what pressing home does surprisingly enough it takes us to the home screen uh, what else shall I play uh, stunt car racer this is one that I'd tried to scope out on the spectrum um, version ages ago but couldn't couldn't oh, couldn't get any good at it. Couldn't get any good at it. I just couldn't um, work out what to do. So right, so I want me thing. Now where's the enter button or something? Would it be escape? I don't know. Uh, hmm. It appears that my aspect ratio is wrong. Oh no! Let me try and sort that out. Uh, because I can't see. Yeah, you can see I've got. I mean, should there be. Looks like there should be something. Just off the side there. Um, never mind. Uh, return. Let's let's go to a different game instead then. Let's try Pinball Dreams. Don't know this one. straight away right what let me let me flipper buttons I'm presuming the shoulder buttons are what is going on come on then know this game at all back in the day right so I've got to pull down on the, the control pad ah come on you clown oh. These games are too fast for my eyes. Ah! So I know some people are very sort of 
anti emulation and sort of not very complimentary about these minis and stuff but you know although I love having the the sort of hardware and stuff like that I'm not an anti-emulation snob at all I I, I know there's a, a a place for it and owning the hardware and, and everything isn't achievable for a lot of people like there's costs um, issues nowadays I mean nothing's getting any cheaper and um, like I said space issues I mean not everyone's blessed with um, an entire room in their house that they can um, fill up with um, retro machines if you know what I mean um, but first impressions of this are really really good um, like I said it doesn't feel cheap and nasty um, the controllers responsive it's working quite well um, So I mean, obviously uh, they'll need to, this is like a first impressions sort of thing, so there'll have to be a sort of follow up um, once I've managed to get some other games on just to see how well it stacks up um, across the board, particularly with those other games that I mentioned. So let's just, I'm quite, quite enjoying this, getting a bit carried away actually. Let's, uh, right, let's go home. But obviously you can save games as well from when you're within a game. So menu gives you an options menu. You've got your display options. Um, you can enable a CRT effect. Um, I won't do that. System options. What's that? Mouse sensitivity. Um, I'll leave that on. Mimic Amiga behavior for the LED. Switches the LED from always on to normal Amiga behavior. I'll leave that language obviously we did that at the start television settings we've done that system information legal notices factory reset not going to press that and shut down device not going to do that either um let's have a quick look at another game uh, What else we do? Come on then, let's have a quick look at Zool. Like I say, I think I had this on the Jaguar, I'm not sure, but either way, it's been a while since... I, I don't remember an awful lot about it, so it can't have been spectacular. Oh, right, sorry, I had to press a button. Uh, very bright and colourful. Oh. Ah, what, what am I doing? Well, that noise isn't going to get annoying quickly, is it? How'd you climb? Trying to climb, but can't climb. I'm not that bleeding interested in it anyway, to tell you the truth. Nice, bright, colourful game, and it looks very good on this um, TV. You can see I've got, the, got it zoomed out a little bit. But, yeah, let's go back to the... Th uh, in fact, no, let's carry that on. Yeah, if you look up there, I should have another column on the side of the, um, the the virtual keyboard so I'm gonna have to mess about with that to get that to display on the TV um, yeah so that's it sort of first impressions um, quite impressive well very impressive actually um, it, I think it was hundred and fifteen pounds I bought it wasn't sent it um, so you know that's a honest uh, review very um, sort of not a flimsy um, device at all really although I said 
yeah it's very very small in comparison it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's going to break at any time and as i pointed out i think the only thing that leapt out at me is the, the the sort of wire on the the mouse is slightly less um chunky than the wire on the controller perhaps i don't know i don't know if that is a particular issue at all but that's just the one thing that sort of um uh, leapt out at me really um well that's it that's my first video back for ages hopefully the first of many um i think you'll agree it's um a decent looking little thing uh excuse my bottle of coke there looks good on the desk saves an awful lot of space so again answering the question who is it for um people who are just in for a casual sort of like retro blast as opposed to a hardcore die-hard amiga fanatic um someone who hasn't got a lot of space someone who just wants something plug and play um yeah i hope it's successful because i don't know what the next step for them machine wise is although this is um based on the a500 i believe it can do games for like the cd32 and the a1200 um as well so yeah all good thank you ever so much for watching my usual pathetic ramblings if you like the video please let me know if you wish to subscribe please do so but if you do subscribe please 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 take the time to join in with the conversation because that's what it's all about thank you ever so much for watching take care and enjoy the rest of your day